this is Professor Jimenez, uh, and this is our class CS281, practice number two, and it is related to a one second delay using nested loops. Okay, so in this graph uh, from the scope, I'm getting the from a digital scope, a digital scope uh, delay of 1.006 seconds, or so this is one pulse that I'm generating in one of the outputs on port C. <coughs> Let's start with the code. First, uh, here <coughs> I have the the configuration fuses and those uh, those fuses um, are related to the internal oscillator, power timer on, master clear, so and that's one configuration warp that controls and sets all the fuses or all the bits related to the internal modules and also these are related to the clock these are related to the low voltage uh, configurations and also the end con uh, right here ends the configuration so we started with config and then we ended that and we ended this one with end config okay and now we are declaring three variables and these three variables are called k1 which is using the run memory location 20 k2 is assigned to run memory 21 hexadecimal and k3 as, is assigned as a variable byte in location 22 hexadecimal and now we start the assembler code with the instruction asm um, as you know i'm using the pvp3 compiler so we start here by assigning the the <coughs> uh, selecting the bank so in first uh, first in this with this instruction i move uh, i select bank one so i move to bank one and then i'm making port b dot four as an input okay in this uh, trice with this trice b remember that the trace or the trice um, registers configure inputs or outputs if there is a logic one it'll be a, an input. So I'm, I'm doing it here bit set file. So which bit? Bit four from bit four, this is bit four from this file from register B or trice B. So RB4 is an input as it says here. Now I'm clearing file tr trice C. So all, pin, all pins in, in port C are configured as uh, outputs. Okay, then I'm clearing option rec that that seven and bit seven from option rec. So, so the, the WPU is equal to zero. So this is to set up the pull up uh, resistors. Then move uh, this uh, literal this hexadecimal number and transfer this number to to W. Okay, so this is the origin, this is the source, the, the source, and this is the destination. So W, in this case, is equal to 6A hexadecimal. So we can write it here, W is equal to 6A hexadecimal. I can put it in binary, so this is 6, and then A, A which is 1010. Zero, zero. This is binary code. So this is equivalent to 6a hexadecimal okay well and remember every time you put a semicolon and in the editor in the compiler this becomes green that means it is uh, it is a text okay now i'm moving that constant in w the contents of w which is 6a hexadecimal to the file uh, OSCON. So OSCON gets loaded with this number to work at 4 megahertz. Then I'm moving 1F hexadecimal to uh, to this to W and from W to OSTAT. So that way I mean I'm working at 4 megahertz and I'm clearing the contents of OSTune so the oscillator will be set at zero uh, at, at 4 megahertz so we are not tuning the oscillator. In bank three, we have to select 
uh, we have to define that our ports will be digital, not analog. So we are clearing uh, uh, analog selection B, and we are clearing analog selector C. That way, all our ports B and C are digital. And in bank four, we moved to bank four, and where we have we have uh, the individual weak pull up for B comma seven, so the the resistors are disabled in port C. Now we move to bank zero, right here, and we move uh, with this instruction. We go to bank zero, where we have the three ports. Uh, port A, Port B, and Port C. So we clear all those ports to make sure um, there's no data data there. Okay. Now we have the we start the code right here. So this is our label, our first label. So we um, in this uh, in this code we need to ask for RV4. RV4 is the switch that will start. And this switch is connected to voltage, so there is always a logic one. So we need to know when when that switch is equal to zero, that means the program has to start. So we test that bit. Bit test file from what file? R, R, RB, port B. Uh, bit test. So which bit are we testing? Bit four. So we are uh, we are asking for port B port b.4 or rb4 is rb4 equal to zero if it is equal to zero b test skip is clear so skip if it is zero that's what it means skip the next instruction if it is zero so if it is zero if rb4 is already pressed and it is zero it'll jump the code will jump here but because when we start the uh, the micro is waiting for the user to press rb4 so uh, the switch, the micro, will jump to this instruction because RB4 is equal to 1. So, and it'll be in, in, a, in a continuous loop from here to here, the microcontroller, always waiting for the user to press the switch. When the, press is, when the switch is pressed, the micro finds that the, this is no longer true. So, now the beat test, it's keep it clear. Yeah, it is clear. It is zero. So now it jump, skip that instruction and jump to this instruction. So now we set port C that zero. So if port C that zero is now equal to one. That um, turns on the pulse or the an LED on the micro. So we can see it on, on the scope or in a voltmeter. And to create a delay, we do this. We we load uh, the working register or accumulator with a constant, K1. In this case, move literal, this is the literal, number 6 to W. Okay, so W is equal to 6. Then we move the contents of W to this file in, in K1, which is file 32. So file 32 gets loaded, or, or 20 the, the RAM address 20 hexadecimal gets loaded with the number with number six this is number six in decimal and once this is done we clear w because we will continue with other instructions so and uh, this is the nested loops so right here we load number 236 decimal in, in decimal code so you notice that if you don't put any letter that this is a decimal number so load the working register with number 236 decimal. Now move the, the contents of W to K2. So um, uh, this file will be loaded with this uh, number 236. Uh, sometimes we I leave these codes right here because I'm writing other ones. So uh, file 33, which is 21 hexadecimal, is loaded with this number because W is 236 and the contents of W are moved, are transferred to this location. Okay, and now, and also is making another copy, this instruction to K3, which is this location, and it is the same constant, the same literal 
okay and this is the this general purpose register the, the location the address location and notice that we have three labels this is label t3 label t2 and t1 so once we are we have loaded k2 k3 okay we start decrementing k3 so k k3 let me check here oh, yeah k1 it was equal to six okay we are here k3 so we start <coughs> we the first decrement decrements start right here in this in this location so we start decrementing decrement file k3 which we know is equal to 236 decremented by one and and send its contents this contents which is 235 to the same uh, location so when we have right here comma one that means that the result of decrementing this file should be stored in the same file in in location 384 file 384 so and and this decrement also is asking for or is testing if this file is equal to zero so decrement file is skip skip is zero so skip this instruction and and if it is zero do this one but we know it is 235 so because it is 235 it'll go back to t1 so it'll go back here and so it'll start doing this loop continuously this loop the microcontroller 236 times 236 times so once it is performed 236 times and it reaches zero once it is the file k3 is equal to zero it jumps to the to this uh, instruction now it'll be decrementing k2 okay and which is file 33 decremented by one and store its contents in the same file so because it is not equal to zero it'll go back to t t2 to this location so it'll be right there and why it goes to t2 because right here we are loading again the contents of w okay which is 236 to k3 because it'll start another loop so that's why we call it a nested loop so every time this loop is equal to zero it continues with this one and it goes back to t2 once k2 or this file 33 33 is equal to zero what will happen the the code will jump to this last uh, decrement decrement to this last instruction so it'll decrement k1 or file 32 which is equal to six then we decrement by one is equal to five so but it'll go because it is not uh, not equal to zero it'll go to t3 right right there so it'll perform this again so <clears throat> six times we'll perform all these loops and once it is once k1 or file 32 is equal to zero it'll get out of the loop and it'll jump right here and because it, it, as it says here skip is zero yeah it is zero so skip this one and jump here so this instruction will clear port c okay port c will be equal to zero so this is a common a comment okay and bit clear clear this bit bit zero from file port zero so rc zero will be equal to zero so right here we end the pulse and then we tell the micro go to state so go to label state which is in, right here so it'll go again to start the program again and wait for the user to to wait for the user to press rb4 okay and so um, right here we end the code with the end instruction and a and a, a asm to end the assembler and the notes for this code, which I will be loading this uh, file as a as a PDF file uh, next to this uh, lesson. Uh, for this code, notice that uh, K1 was equal to six, K2 equal to two twenty six, K3 equal to twenty six. So C3 is equal to seven hundred and nine cycles, okay, because it is two hundred thirty six times three. And then 
we have constant C2, uh, C1, and this is how the, the product is done. The total time delay is K1, 236 times 3 two times 236. So we substitute these numbers and we get 1.002 seconds. So time for each cycle working at 4 megahertz is one microsecond. The delay time is this, or 1.002, and the time measuring the scope is this. So sometimes these uh, um, inaccuracies are caused by hardware because the the crystal sometimes it has some tolerance. Okay, and this is the way you create a one second delay. Okay in the in assembler in assembler code okay that's it you uh, i will post this uh, code in as a pdf file in the group thank you